Jane King, presented by Nathaniel Lee, attorney at law. Jane starts with reports from big banks due today. Mm -hmm. Which ones are releasing updates, Jane? Yeah. So we're starting to get these numbers, and uh, this is a J.P. Morgan Chase, Wells Fargo, Bank of America. So Bank of America and J.P. Morgan Chase did better than expected, although Chase talked about a recession again. So that stock is down this morning. Wells Fargo's numbers coming in a little worse than expected. These bank earnings really get a lot of scrutiny because they give us a glimpse into the economy. Are people paying bills on time, going into debt? Are they saving money and so forth? Well, apartment rent prices fell 1.5% month over month in December. December, the national median rent dropped for a fourth straight month last month, with overall prices of rent down, as a nationwide average, 3% since August. Now, the housing market is expected to continue to cool in the coming months. And pilots are negotiating new contracts with the airlines. That could mean higher ticket prices. Some airlines have had to hand out bumper contracts to pilots, especially since there's a shortage and is causing concern about where airfares would be headed. Some lawmakers say Congress people should not be allowed to trade stocks, especially since they often have inside information. Bipartisan supporters argue this bill that was introduced would prevent insider trading and restore Americans' confidence in their elected officials. Previous efforts to ban individual stock trades have stalled in Congress. And stocks closed higher as the Nasdaq is up for five straight days. We had that CPI report that showed cooling inflation, mostly, except for eggs. U.S. markets will be closed Monday for the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. And today, we're pointing lower. These bank earnings are having a negative impact on the markets today. Live in the Nasdaq market site, I'm Jane King. Back to you. Uh, several streaming services have increased prices in recent years, but there's been one holdout until now. Yes, so this is HBO Max. So the ad-free subscription will go up to a fifteen ninety nine a month. So it's actually on the pricier side. They launched in twenty twenty. This is the first time that they've raised prices. They have some popular shows right now: White Lotus and House of the Dragon. I've, I've never. <sighs> Watch, is it a good? Do they have a big selection? I mean, yeah. that's fifteen ninety nine is pretty pricey. So they, it is. They have a lot. It of, is. They they were. I think. Um, I mean, Netflix has done a lot of original productions, but HBO just has this really big powerhouse okay. of shows that are only streaming on HBO ever. So it's you know, that's Game right. of so Thrones. Anything is that a was huge, on HBO, yeah, yeah Ch like, Chief, will Chief be on there. So, so I take some convincing. So. White Lotus. I mean, you've got <laughs> okay. to get into it, Scott. Come on. Eh. <laughs> I've got to get in my pocketbook. I'm a lot happier. <laughs> Jane, thanks. Have a great weekend. <laughs>